Welcome to Model Horse Tax School. My name is Carrie, and today we're going to do a shirt for a seven and a half inch male rider or handler. And um, this is the seven and a half inch I'm talking about. He's um, would be more traditional scale than classic scale. And um, now the classic scale is a little bit shorter. So we're talking about half an inch taller. I'm sure you could probably resize this for the smaller classic sized riders. These are the ones I actually prefer, uh, but in this case I'm, I'm picking him. He was a PBR rider. Um, and so I, I want him to have a white shirt and black pants. Okay, the pattern is available on my website with the pants. So you get both the shirt and the pants. I will let you know now. I am not an experienced doll clothes maker. So I did the best that I could. And if you guys are better at it than me, I congratulate you. First thing is to pick um, your fabric. Uh, this is just a white, I guess it's a broadcloth. It's a very uh, thin um, type of uh, fabric, uh, but it does fray. So I'm going to have to do something about the edges after I cut out the pattern piece. You guys know how much I love using glue, but in this case, I would use something like Fray Chuck. Uh, not sponsored. This is just something that I have. And so I would then just treat the edges of the pattern pieces after I cut them out because your seam allowance is only an eighth of an inch on this pattern. Okay, so these are the pieces cut out and the fray check right now is drying and as soon as it's completely dry, we'll start sewing. Okay, just a note about sewing. I personally am going to use a sewing machine. You could hand sew these. Uh, either way is fine. I do recommend after every time you do a seam that you iron because you only get one shot to iron. Okay, so I got my shoulders done. I got my sleeves hemmed. And now we do uh, right sides together. We're gonna sew the sleeve into the socket right here. Okay. Okay. There's that with the sleeves in and ironed to get some crisp um, lines in there. And the next thing we're gonna do, we we'll fold it over, and then we're gonna do the facing on both sides. So you fold it over where that notch right there is. That's your fold over, and you're gonna sew top to bottom. All right, there we go. The facing is down. I've got a little bobble there, but the collar will cover that. So the next thing, and this is why you only get one chance to iron, so we're going to go ahead and match the sleeves. And we're going to go ahead and sew the entire side. Well, right now it kind of looks like scrubs for hospital. But uh, we'll go ahead now and work on the collar. And we want it all the way around this way. So what I recommend is um, do it a little at a time. There's no, there's no rush. And um, what I'd like to do is try and get it where I want it to be in the end, which is just a little bit over there and, um, and then go ahead and pin in the middle so the secret to a, sewing a curve is to straighten it out and that's what my sewing teacher taught me man that was home back in junior high school wow long time ago I've got everything pinned like this, especially like this. If it's pinned like this, I don't have to remove the pin until the needle's right there. And in a lot of cases, it'll step right over. So let's go ahead and get that done. Here's our collar sewed and ironed. And so now what we need to do is do the points. So we're gonna fold it right sides together and we're just going to sew the points. And you should have, because this, 
don't know if you can see that that seam is folded under from ironing you should have extra on this side okay so even if the points don't exactly match up here don't worry about it what you want is just to make sure it's even all the way across and then on uh, both sides we're just going to sew that to a point okay see how we have those points done that we need to do before we turn these right side out is we need to reduce the amount of fabric in here. So I'm going to take off the point and then I'm going to cut right in here. Okay, then we can flip our collar right side out and it helps to have a stylus or something to push our points out. There we go. And now you could fold this under and then sew it. All right, we've got that. And now what we do have to do, of course, is fold it back and iron it really good so it stays that way. But first I will hem the bottom and you're gonna hem it, of course, this way. Okay, so this is the one we made together. Um, I've turned it right side out and um, the next step would be um, on the facing here to put some type of closure. So I have, you know, the basic ones that everybody has is you've got the, the snaps, which would work and you've got the hooks, which would also work. And I believe these are the smallest ones available. They're out of scale to me. Um, I was fortunate enough many years ago to find something that might qualify as a doll Velcro. And so I just have a strip of it on each side of the facing. Uh, one side is hook and the other side is the fuzzy stuff. Um, you might be able to find it, um, obvious craft store, hobby store. Um, I could not find it in white, so I had to use the black. It's my only option. And if I close it right, I think, I think it works. Anyways, there's our shirt for the seven and a half inch writer. I want to thank you for spending time with me. If you could like, subscribe, uh, ring the bell for notifications, and um, tell all your friends who love horses and love tag making about this channel uh, so we can grow it to a point that I can continue to keep making these videos for you. Thank you so much. Have a really good day. Yeah, can somebody tell me why he has nipples? I mean, this dude, his nipples are shown through the shirt. <sighs> why would a child's doll have nipples that hard? I swear.